Welcome to Two Traveling Teachers Top 10 Upgrades to our Grand Design Imagine 22 MLE. Number one is our Camco RV vent covers. All right, another upgrade we did was the um, the vent covers. It is, I don't know, I think about $40 a piece. They just cover the original vents. We chose not to actually upgrade the fans. They seem to work just fine for us, um, both here in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Um, maybe it's just that we don't live in a very humid environment. It's that we're out west where it's pretty dry. We tend to have evenings that cool off a lot. It's just never really a need for, you know, big max air fans or anything like that. So these work just great for us. Outside cover protects this adjustable cover from any damage from wind. A really a big problem we have here in Colorado is we can get bad hailstorms. And I'm mostly concerned when it's in storage, and this will protect it because they their stories of it just getting bashed in and the rain comes in and ruins your camper. Also, um, and the off chance you drive off and forget to close your vents, you kind of have that added protection from the wind as you tear it on the road. So that $40 spent for each of those was well worth it. Our second upgrade was changing out our Westlake tires for Goodyear Endurance tires. We never really had a problem with the Westlakes, but we had about 10,000 miles on them and thought it'd be safe to go ahead and trade them out. A couple modifications we made in the at the storage bay area. We put this, bought these rubber mats at Costco or Sam's Club and just cut them to fit in here. So it just creates a nice rubberized floor, protects the floor of the storage area. For upgrade number four, we exchanged the storage compartment locks with combination locks. All right, here we've changed out the lock and it's just a combo lock that you can um, set and adjust. Number five is the furnace insect screen. Yes. All right, so I feed it through. And I found out, you want it kind of in the middle here. You stick this tool right down through the hole. And I don't know if this is the way it has to be done, but I found this, I already put the other one on. It's a little easier once I get it through one of these holes. I want to go right down to the middle of the spring. I find out that it's easier to see that. And then it hooks on to, you just put it, ah, right like that. And then I'm just gonna go hook it on. Let's watch. Yep. Push it, put it right over this. And you hook it on. There you go. Number six is the Furion backup camera. I like this not just to help me back up, but more importantly, it acts as a rear view mirror while driving down the road towing the trailer. Number seven is the keyless entry RV lock. We have a separate video that shows the installation of this lock. Number eight is the Lippert Thin Shade. We have another video that shows the installation of this. This was my favorite upgrade. Number nine is a propane fire pit. We can connect it directly to our quick release in the back of our RV and always have a campfire. Out west, frequently fire restrictions prevent us from having real fires, but we can always have a propane fire. Number 10 is an ice maker. I always love having fresh ice to put in my cocktails, as well as making ice to put in our coolers. This is just a no-brainer. I have to have an ice maker. <laughs> well, that's our top 10, but we have a number 11. We didn't include it because it's really not an upgrade. It's a fail. We intended to put stick on tiles for backsplash, but things didn't work out so well, so I'll just fast forward through the installation process, see how we did it, and then we'll show you the end result. Any suggestions you have for making this actually work, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anyhow, this marks the end of our top 10. 
Look forward to seeing you on the road in summer of 2022.